Hello everyone, this session I am going to discuss about MATLAB commands and functions. For this, I will be using Dr. Brian Wick material. He is working in the Virginia Tech University. First, we will look the general purpose commands. That is, first one is plus. So, A plus B, like that we will be using the plus. So, if this is addition operator, then this is subtraction operator minus multiplication operator star then dot star it is easily used for the array multiplication yesterday we saw this dot star each element will be multiplied so this is exponential operator scalar as well as for the matrix then this is element wise it will do array exponential operator dot dot comes means then it is for the each element then left division that is a by b then right division b by a after that you got same way you got dot right div left division then dot right division each element will be divided in this way colon colon then uh, normally we will use it in the for loop for loop we, we will use or to uh, indicate one is one colon uh, one colon ten means it will start from one incremented by one then it will go up to ten so for that we will use the colon then parenthesis parenthesis usually used to pick the uh, element or show the element in a matrix a you open parenthesis 3 comma 2 in this case it will show the third row second column element will be displayed for that we will be using the parenthesis to indicate the particular element then this square bracket is used to assign the value a equal to open square bracket 1 2 3 4 if you put then that particular element value will be stored in the a matrix then decimal point dot then this is for the continuation continuation line continuation operator if the your line breaks then you have to put the three dots so that that line will be continued to the next line then comma to separate the uh, elements semicolon normally to terminate the row we will use the semicolon in the matrices 1 comma 1 2 3 if you put semicolon then the next number will come on the next row so for that we will use this semicolon also in the command window to suppress the display we will use say for example in the command window if you put a equal to 1 enter then the it will display a equal to 1 instead if you put a equal to 1 semicolon then the a value will not be displayed but the a value will be 1 that you can see in the workspace so to suppress this display we will use the semicolon in the command window then percentage the percentage sign usually we will use it for the command to command the line we will use the percentage uh, symbol as well as for the specifying format we will use the percentage symbol then code sign is used for the transpose operator and these are all used for the mathematical operation equal equal we will actually we will use it for to assign the value next commands for managing the session clc clc is for clears the command window if your command window is full of commands you can use the clc to clear all the commands clear this clear instruction will clear the variable from the workspace that is from the memory clc is used to clear the command window whereas clear is used to clear the variables from the memory that is from the workspace exist this is this will check the existence of the file or variable whether it is existing or not for that we will use the exist command global then if you assign the variable global then it will be the value will be across all the function same so for that we will use the global variable globally we are declaring so across all the function the value will remain same help or help yeah you can find a help command uh, so if you, you you can you can get help for any command or the function in the matlab then look for it will use to search the keyword quit so if you want to close the matlab then you have to enter quit on the command window then who it lists the current variables what are the variables are there in the workspace you can see in the who are by who or whose by using this you can find the variables then special variables ants 
most recent answer will be stored in answer say for example if you put a equal to 1 plus 1 then a value will be 2 instead simply in the command window if you put 1 plus 1 then ants will become 2 so the ants is the most recent answer then EPS this is the floating point precision i comma j is used to show the imaginary unit you can use either i or j inf is used to indicate the infinity then nan this is not a number nan means it's a not and not a number undefined numerical result so instead of this mathematical of pi we will put this pi value over here then file command normally here this all command you can't execute with the matlab web browser but with the matlab software you can execute cd this is used to change the current directory so this you can use it in the web browser but you can use it in the matlab software date it displays the current date delete the delete it is the particular file similarly the diary uh, it is switch on the file recording then dir list all files in the current directory same way this you can use it in the matlab web browser you can use it only in the uh, matlab software load it loads the workspace variable from a file Path displays the search path. This also you can use it in the web browser. PWD displays the current directory. Whichever directory folders are involved, that you can use it in the MATLAB web browser. Save it saves the workspace variable in a file. So what are all workspace variables are there? That will be stored in a file. Type it displays the content of the file. What List all MATLAB files in the current directory. So in the current directory, what are the files are there that all will be displayed if you put the what command. Then wk1 uh, WK read command. This reads the spreadsheet file. And if you want to read from any value from the spreadsheet, you can use this command. Then input output formatting commands. Dis it displays all the content of an array or string. Then fscan up. Normally it is used for the input or read. Then format, format you can use it long, short, so it controls the display format. Fprintf, so it is actually used to write. Fscanf is used to read, Fprintf is used to write. Then input, it displays the prompt and wait for the input. Then semicolon, already we saw it is used to suppress the screen printing. Then format, what are the formats available? So normally this we will use it with the fprintf and the fscanf. So if you put uh, percentage yes, then it is string. Then D denotes that integer. Then F denotes the floating point. E denotes the floating point value in scientific notation. Then G, it is the most common format. Either F or E, E will be displayed. Then slash N, it is used to begin the new line. Slash T, it is insert the tab. New tab will be arranged in the slash T. Slash N, new line will come. Then display format. Short, 4 decimal only will be displayed. Format long, then 16 decimal digits will be displayed. Format short E, 5 digit plus, you will get that exponential value. Similarly, long E, you will get a 16 digit plus exponential value. Format bank. Exact two decimal digits will be displayed. Format plus positive negative or zero. This is for that. Then format rat. This is rational approximation. Then format compact. This is to suppress some line feeds. Format loose. It, it resets to less compact display mode. So these are all now for displaying the numbers or other variables. Normally we will use. Then array. This cat, cat command is used to concatenate. So we saw uh, yesterday uh, how to concat vertically, horizontally. So we will use that cat command. Then find, it will find the indices of any non-zero elements. Then length, it will, it will compute the length. Then link space, link space usually normally we will use to generate the number. Here we will give the starting number then end number after that we will give how many numbers we want the, that's for the link space similarly we can get, get that log space logarithmically spaced vector then max command will return the maxia number similarly minimum min command will return that minimum number 
then pr od will give the product of each column then reshape it will change the size size command will give the size of that array then sort it will sort each column sum it will do sum of each column so the pr od sort sum or belongs to that column particular column then we can create a special matrix i will create the identity matrix ones will create the array consist of ones then zero mat zeros create an a matrix with only zeros then we can do two type of product one is cost product another one is cross product another one is dot uh, dot product both we can do it by using the command cross and dot then solving linear equations it the det will find the determinant value similarly inverse of matrix then presidio inverse of that matrix rank of the matrix then reduced row equivalent form so all we can achieve using the particular command then array function cell array function cell will create the cell array and cell display will display that created array then cell plot it will graphically represent that array num to cell it converts array to cell array then deal it matches the input and the output list isl it will use to identify the cell so with the proper example you can able to understand this then you got the structure function so field names it, it returns the field name of this array then get field it will it will return the field from the contents of the structured array is field it identify the structure of the array field then is struct it identify structure array rm field it removes the field from the array set field it sets the contents of the field particular location then struct it create the structure of the array so that all example you can find in the book which i shared in the telegram kindly practice then only you, you can able to understand the cell array function and the structure function then plotting commands general plotting so axis it sets the uh, limit x axis y axis f plot so it is intelligent planting of the function so we do, these are actually used to plot it then grid if you want grid lines then you can make it a grid down or grid off then plot so it is used to plot any that variable x y like that you can plot it print then you can use to print the plot or you can save it in a file title it is used to assign the title for the particular plot then x label it adds the x label to the x axis y label it adds label to the y axis so these are all the plotting commands then plot enhancement commands so access it creates the access object access so next close it will close the only the only the current plot will be closed if you open multiple plot then uart is the close all command figure it opens the new figure then g text it enable the label placement by mouse by using the mouse then hold it hold the freezes the current plot yesterday we saw so we draw sine wave as well as pass wave for that we use the hold on and hold off so it, it is used to freeze the current plot then legend legend is used to uh, indicate if you have that uh, different plots then we will use the legend refresh it reads draws the current figure window set it specify the properties of object then subplot if you are creating many plot then you can use that subplot it create the sub window actually text it places the string in the figure then what are the different type of plot you can do one is bar by using bar bar x comma y means then you will be creating a bar chart then log 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 plot you can plot then polar semi log x and y semi log x semi log y then stair like a staircase you can create that plot it, it will be more or less similar to that bar then stem plot also we can create but the for to create the stem plot you want x y z then for plotting we will use the color symbol and the line type so these are all the available colors only the only one one letter you have to use it to indicate the color then the symbol 
as well as for the line that letter or the character you have to use it then these are all for the three dimensional plotting x y z three with three dimensional plotting you can use the contour plot mesh mesh c mesh h plot three surf of surf c mesh mesh grid waterfall and z label here out of that one uh, all you can practice with the matlab web browser some uh, commands will not support the matlab web browser histogram function for that we will use bar hist and hist c then logical and relational operation operators equal to equal to if both are equal then we will use that equal to it is not assigning if you put only one equal then it will be assigning a equal to b so here b value and a value become same now if you put a equal to equal to b then it will be comparing so we will use the double equal then this is not equal less than less than or equal to greater and greater than or equal to then this is for the operator and operation or not then xr after that flow control break normally we will use it in the switch case operation we will use the break then this is for the switch case else else if end error for if otherwise i, I think that the whole all we discussed in the last session otherwise then return switch case then warning then while while statement so these are all used for the control the flow of the program after that we got the logical function any this is true if any elements are non zero then all true if all elements are non zero this is any element is non zero this is for all elements are non zero find it is used to find the indices of non zero element finite true if the elements are finite then this value become one is n a n true if elements are undefined then is i n f true if elements are infinite so this value and all will become one if if the condition satisfied is empty if the matrix is empty is real if all the elements are real numbers then m file so actually in the matlab web browser that m file function we can able to execute this m file values we can able to execute then timing cpu timing so it can be the cpu time clock normally here you will get the matlab web browser timing matlab is meant for mathematics so you can find all mathematical function in the matlab starting from the exponential and logarithmic function trigonometric function hyperbolic function complex statistical random number numeric function string function then numerical method polynomial and the regression function interpolation root finding and minimization numerical integration numerical differentiation function ode solver predefined input functions then toolboxes are also available so these are the toolbox available in the matlab so normally matlab is meant for the mathematical modeling so it supports it it completely supports that mathematical modeling so by using these commands you can solve your problems research problems thank you